Haleluya. Tunawasalimu wote katika jina la Kristo Yesu. Na Jumapili nyingine pia Bwana ametupa ili tuweze kusikiza kutoka kwake na tume worship him, praise him and glorify his name. I want to thank God for this privilege ametupea we ukiwa hapo nyumbani ukiwa katika shughuli za maisha za kila siku na nikiwa hapa nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya uaminifu wa Bwana Asanti kwa sababu ya kibali Bwana ametupea tufungue ibada yetu kwa maombi Tunakushukuru sana Mungu wetu katika jina la Kristo Yesu Asanti kwa sababu ya neema na kibali umetupa Jumapili hii. Asanti kwa sababu ya neema na nafasi ambayo Bwana tunayo ya kusikia kutoka kwako. Asanti kwa sababu lockdown haiwezi kukuzuia wewe. Mungu wetu we bado unapata nafasi ya kutunenea. Tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya kutupea mitandao inayotuwezesha kusemezana kwa pamoja. Bariki kila mtazamaji na msikizaji wangu siku hii ya leo napoendelea kushiriki neno pamoja pokea sifa na utukufu na heshima na ni katika jina la Kristo Yesu mwokozi na bwana wetu tumeomba amen amen nataka tuweze kusomewa neno la siku hii ya leo ah nashukuru Mungu binti wangu atasoma na pia maisana atasoma nipenda tusomewe katika kitabu cha Luka 24 mstari wa 13 14 kisha Luka 21 hadi 30 mpaka 33 Amen Luke chapter 24 verse 13 14 Now behold Two of them were traveling that same day to a village called Emmaus which was seven miles from Jerusalem and they talked together of all these things which had happened. Verse 21 But we were hoping that it was he who was going to redeem Israel indeed beside all this today is the third day since these things happened. 30 33 Now it came to pass as he sat at the table with them and he took bread blessed and broke it and gave it to them then their eyes were opened and they knew him and he vanished from their sight and they said to one another did not our heart burn within us while he talked with us on the road and while he opened the scriptures to us so they rose up that very hour and returned to Jerusalem and found the eleven and those who were with them gathered together amen now we hear the word of Isaiah chapter 40 verses 28 to 31 and my son will read for us Isaiah chapter 40 verse 28 to 31 and it says have you not known have you not heard the everlasting god the lord the creator of the ends of the earth neither faints nor is we- weary his understanding is uns- unsearchable he gives power to the weak and to those who have have no might he increases strength even the youths shall faint and be, we- be weary and the young men shall uh, shall utterly fall But those who wait, but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with king, with wings like eagles they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint that's the word of God amen tumesomewa hadithi from the book of Luke chapter 24 verses 13 to 14 verse 21 and verses 30 to 33 it is the story of two disciples of Jesus who are going to a mouse last week we were celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ and uh, the bible talks of how his disciples would react wakati wakufufuka kwa Yesu 
Katika luka 20 na ine, maandiki na zungumuzia mwanafunzi moja jina laki linapeanwa, anaitua Cleopas. Uyo mwingine atujui jina lake. Lakini Cleopas, according to Matthew chapter 24, uh, Bible inasema they were on their way to a mouse, a village called a mouse from Jerusalem. Verse number 20, na verse 13 inasema, it was a distance of about two hours, seven miles. Seven miles is 11 kilometers. So, hiyo inachukua two hours. And as they were going, they walked with Jesus. Na wakawa nampatia Yesu uh, habari kuhusu nini kilicho tendeka kwa sababu walikuwa meshushika moyo. Bible inasema ya kwamba as they walked together, they were talking with Jesus about what had happened. Remember, Yesu walikuwa asha fufuka. But with them, walikuwa washa give up na walikuwa wajamuona Yesu wakiwa mefufuka, walikuwa narudi kwa maisha yao ya kawaida. Bible inasema wakatembea na Yesu njiani, wakaongea, wakaongea, na walipo fika mahali palipo kuwa destination ya safari yao. Yesu wakajifunua kwao kupitia mkate na divai walipo kunywa pamoja. Haka mega mkate, wakaona, wakashangaa. Ati when Jesus broke bread, he broke bread and gave to them. And then their eyes were opened. Mache yao ilipo funguka, Bible inasema Jesus vanished from their sight. Then they said one to another, wakajiambia. Si hui Yesu wakiongea tulisikia vizuzuri. Mandike na luni nasema wakaamuka that same hour and returned to Jerusalem and they found the eleven together na wakawambia ya kwamba kweli Yesu yuko hai. The truth is Jesus is alive and uh, people have many reactions. Taka kuongea kuhusu when the answer is wait. When the answer is wait. Kila wakati, when we pray, there are three answers ambayo sisi upata. In every prayer we pray. To God we may pray, Father help me remember me nisaidie. Mungu wanaeza kusema ndiyo. Instant, pap, you get your answer. Mandika nasema ya kuamba, wakati hana aliomba, apewe mtoto, the answer was instant. Alipata tu mtoto aliambiwa mujiza wako umetendeka. We see people going to Jesus and asking him, can I be healed? They get an instant miracle. There are times when we pray and we get miracles instantly. Answers is inakuja instant. That is answer number one. Answer number two, uwa mungu anasema wait. Unaomba mungu, unamambia mungu nisaidie, mungu nikumbuke, mungu nitende, mungu anakuambia ungoje. Ama jibu linakaa, Ibrahimu wakakutana na mungu, akamambia Ibrahimu nitakubariki, nitakupa mtoto. Na jibu ni kwamba, Abraham had to wait for 25 years. That was the answer. The answer was yes, wait. Naeza kuwa yes, shika, ya kwanza. Ya pili, yes, wait. Ya tatu mungu anaeza kasema no. Paulo tunasoma mandiko inasema ya kwamba he prayed and asked God. Ya kwamba mungu naomba unitole huu muiba. He had a thorn in his flesh, akaomba mungu sana niondole. Mungu akamwambia neema yangu inakutosha. My grace is sufficient. That means a no. Si itoi, itaka hapo. It will always be there, but you will have the grace. Tunamuona yesu wakiwa mgedisemani ya naomba baba ikiweze kana, uniondole kikombe hiki. But instead of kikombe kuondoleo because it was the will of God, kikombe kilibaki papo hapo, because ilikuwa ni lazima akinyue kile kikombe. So the answer was no. Today I want to speak about when the answer is wait. When God says wait, we are at a time when there is a great pandemic. People have prayed, 
The church has prayed. Brethren have prayed. But the answer, Mimi na Amini, see or no? The answer is yes, we continue waiting. Our God has his appointed time. Mungu hajashindwa na pandemic. Mungu hajashindwa kuturudisha kwa kanisa. Mungu hajashindwa kuturudisha kwa biashara zetu. Mungu hajashindwa kuturudisha kwa maisha yetu ya kawaida. The issue is we have to wait. We have to continue waiting. And when waiting comes, it is very very painful. Najua kuna mtu anapenda kungoja. Everybody, most of us, have a problem with waiting. Waiting ha- is a very big issue. Especially when you are told now you have to wait. Bible inasema those disciples, walikuwa wangoje kufufuka kwa Yesu. They were to wait, but they were not able to wait. Kwa sababu hawakuweza kungoja, they gave up. How many people have given up in their marriages because of not waiting on one another. People have given up. Even now, I am here to tell us, don't be quick to give up. Continue waiting. Let's keep on waiting. Waiting has good results. Wazungu wakasema in the the scholars say patience pays. When you are patient, when you are very patient with something, it pays. We can learn so much when the answer is wait. This morning, I would like us to look on waiting. When God says wait, when you have prayed and God tells you wait, when you ask God for a miracle, when you are praying for a breakthrough, you are believing God kuanzisha biashara. You are believing God kuwa kuolewa. You are believing God to go overseas, to have a visa, passport. Kwanza uko ndio sana watu wanaenda unaambiwa ngoja. When you want to get to a certain level of education, then you are told wait. That time of waiting. Waiting is not easy. Waiting is not easy. King Saul Hakungoja alitoa the bill because he couldn't wait. We see great men who couldn't wait. And because of not waiting, the results were bad. Wakati Ibrahim aliambiwa atapata mwana, he didn't wait for the 21 day for the 25 years. Ilifika mahali Sara akachoka, kamwambia chukua haga. And Ishmael was born. The reason was they couldn't wait. I want to talk to us today about waiting. When God says wait, now that we are waiting, surely we are praying, trusting God this pandemic will end. But to God the answer he is telling us to wait. As we are waiting, what is expected of us? Waiting means to observe or to rest in expectations kukaa ukiwa na matarajio kukaa ukiwa na patience resting in expectation or resting in patience it means not to depart usitoke ukae hapo tu ukivumilia inamaanisha kungojea mwongozo to wait is uh, to, uh, to waiting means you stay somewhere as you wait for an order kuambiwa what to do next if you look at us now those people in quarantine we are told to wait 14 stay home 14 days wait kaa ndani kwa nyumba usitoke wait wait for the results imagine can you remember the days when tulifanya mtihani KCP KCSE you know you are waiting for the exam you become anxious the disciples who had to wait for Jesus 
But they couldn't wait. They gave up, two of them, and decided to go to a mouse. Wawakachoka. I'm talking to people who are almost giving up. I want to tell us, let's continue waiting. Mm -hmm. Let us continue staying home. We have been told to wait. The Ministry of Health is telling us to wait. The government is telling us to wait. Everywhere the media is telling us, wait, stay at home. Staying at home means wait. The other meaning of stay at home is waiting. So we need to wait. Wait at home until when we are told what to do. Don't go to church. Wait at home. This waiting is now the problem. This is now waiting is where the issue is. But we need to wait. The young people need to wait. The children need to wait. Old men have to wait. Families have to wait. And this waiting is where the issue is. The Bible says, these men were told to wait. Don't care about my church about waiting. And I will use the example of a hen. Kuku atagai mayai. Kuku akitaka mayai. Ndiyaweze kuagua vifaranga. Yeye hungoja siku ishirina moja. And we can learn a very great lesson from the hen. As the hen waits for the 21 days. My dear brothers and sisters, waiting to Mesema it is being patient, not departing. We wait as we expect. And expecting in a creating appetite. <laughs> Expectations. Mutu wakiwa na pika jikoni. Asipokuwa na waiting, atakula mboga nyama yishie jikoni. Kwa sababu ya waiting. That is how tough waiting is. Uwede ukuta laini ni mwefu. You are supposed to wait. Juzi tuliona watu wakipewa chakule ya msaada. Kwa sababu ya kutokungoja. Na wameambua hii chakule inatosha kila mtu. Lakini panga laini ungoja. Ukikuta we ni namba miatatu uko nyuma. Kungoja is an issue. That waiting. Corruption results yake. Ama reason. What causes corruption is people are not ready to wait. Mtu anambua this thing has to wait for five days. Anauliza can't I get it with two days. So anakorrupt. Waiting is the problem. Matatu industry has become an issue. Traffic jamiko wanapanda pavement. Why? They can't wait. Boda boda. They can't wait. Wakifika kwa mahali penye traffic anasema gari za pandezi simame zingine zipite. Watu wa boda boda they see they are not the ones who are supposed to be waiting. They crisscross. Why waiting? I tell us brethren waiting is tough. Lakini kuku amenishangaza. Kuku amenishangaza. Kuku amenifundisha kungoja. Na naomba Mungu atupe neema kama ya kuku. Mm -hmm. Tujue kungoja. Kuku anangoja siku i quarantine yake ni ya 21 days. Kuku anambua quarantine 21 days usitoke kwa hiyo mayai akae hapo na hakuna mtu ana command discipline. Kuku anajiweka pale mwenyewe self quarantine. Kwetu hapa Kenya tuliambua people should self quarantine all of a sudden wale walikuwa quarantine na sikia mtu alitoka. What is the problem? Waiting. We may laugh at them but what about if it is us told to wait? Today, I would like us to check on a few things from the hen and these disciples of Jesus. The disciples couldn't wait. Wakaamua kwenda imaus. When we don't wait, we shift from our original position. We shift from our place of breakthrough. When we don't wait, we may miss the blessing. Mm -hmm. Number one, kuku. Uwa kona kitu na ito a good planning. For us to kufaulu in waiting, we need good planning number one. Kuku, kwanza kabla hajalalia, hutaga mayai. 
Ye mwenyewe ufanya planning. Hakuna kuku utaka yai moja na akalalia. Mhm. Huwa -mm. anataka yai, anataka lingine, anakusanya kwanza. Ndiye analalia. In the book of Proverbs chapter number 30 and verses 25, the Bible says, the ant Midali talathini mstari wa shiri na tano. The ant are a people not strong. Yet they prepare their meat in the summer. Angalia wale wadudu. Mchua. Niwerevu sana. Wakati wa chakula. Wao hukusanya wakaweka. They plan themselves. Kwa sababu wanajua. Kuna wakati utafika. Ukame utakuja. Na ukame ukija. Bas. Tutakula kiri ambacho tuliweka. Kungoja inaitaji mpango. Watu wa mungu kama kuna kitu sahi tunaitaji kufanya ni mipangilio. Unasikia tumeambiwa siku ni kumi na ine. Iso siku kumi na ine. Ili usishinde ukizurura inje uende ujinetea ugonjwa na mambo mengine. Plan. Waiting now means planning. Get food enough for those days. Kama unaweza ili to avoid kuzurura. Buy, get yourself together. How can I manage myself? How can I program myself and plan for the 21 days? Wale watu wenye wali kwa quarantine mutu wanatoroka ni kwa sababu haku jipanga. When you are told to wait, waiting means you plan yourself. When you know you are, you are supposed to go and wait. Let's plan. Ukiwa pale nyumbani, you know there is another whole week to meandua hiko mbele yetu. What is expected of us is to wait. When God says wait, he says plan yourself. He's giving us an opportunity to plan ourselves. All the disciples were choka. They gave up and went. The first thing, brethren, I would like us today to embrace is waiting. May God give you the grace of waiting in Jesus' name. Amen. As we continue waiting, let us plan. To kare kama mchua. Tujipange, tuangalia our planning, how are we doing? So the first thing is planning. Number two, kuku, baada ya kutaga mayai yake, akajipanga paka ya kafika mayai yale anajua mabawa ya tafunika. Jambo la pili, yeye hukalia hayo mayai na anawacha kutembea tembea. Najua you can bear me witness, kuku wakulalia uwa azururi. Ata anaeza maliza siku kadhaa hajatoka kwa maya yake. Self-quarantine, anajiweka mahali, hatoki toki. The disciples could not stay where they were supposed to be. They walked from Jerusalem to a mouse and they were supposed to stay at Jerusalem until the resurrection. But they couldn't wait. They, they were choker. How many of us have walked away from our miracle? How many have walked away from their breakthrough? The Bible says the story of Ruth and Naomi. The man, aliyekuwa mewawa, aliyekuwa mewawa, Ruth. Bible nasema ya kwamba, kulipo tokea njaha, Naomi ya kaenda. Naomi could not stay at home. They went to the land of Moab. What was the problem? Waiting. Naomi could not with the husband hawange ka kulikuwa tunanjana ilikuwa ya muda mfupi kwa sababu ya kutokungoja wakaenda in the land of Moab wakiwa huko what happened kwa sababu ya kutokungoja two of the sons died kwa sababu ya kutokungoja the woman became a widow na akiwa huko kwao kama angevumilia kwa sababu bible nasema wakiwa Moab wakasikia kwao nyumbani chakula imepatikana there is a, they had to go back what a shame. Dio sababu hata alirudi ya kajiita mimi ni mara. I'm no longer Naomi. She was bitter. When we don't wait, the result is bitterness. People get bitter because they don't wait. I pray for you. May you be patient. Mm -hmm. How many people are bitter with their spouses because of not waiting? At times we get tempted. Unakasirikia mtu because of waiting. Especially with people in marriage. A great place of temptation. One of us is slow, the other one is fast. So waiting is an issue. When waiting for one another. 
Naomi became bitter in her life kwa sababu hawakungoja walisikia tu njani ya muda when crisis comes which is for a season itaisha what is expected of us is waiting kuku anapotaka yale mayai kile yeye hufanya namba 2 ni kwamba huwa anafanya kitu kinaitwa discipline hulalia yale mayai na hatoki that is the second thing we need discipline Discipline is very important. She minimizes her movement. Hatembe hatembe ya toki akienda. Now that we are waiting, what is expected of us is minimized movements. The Bible says in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 4. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 4 that no man that worries and tangles himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him who has chosen him to be a soldier ati askari ili amfurahishe mkubwa wake yeye huwa hajichanganyi na mambo ya raia hajichanganyi na affairs za nje anaji discipline ndio sababu nasikia inaitwa discipline force kwa sababu ya nidhamu ya kukaa mahali ambapo hauzurura zururi ya utembea tembea una kama ali pamoja waiting demands discipline i pray god to saidie that we be disciplined tukae mahali pamoja tusiwashawashwe na kutoka how many people have gotten sick now people are going to suffer because of lack of discipline watu waliamua tukae tungoje but people are not ready to sit and wait people are up down left right because of not waiting when we are told to sit down and wait the bible says the children of israel moses amepanda mlimani na Joshua wameenda kuchukua the ten commandments the children of Israel couldn't wait they were just supposed to wait until Moses comes back when Moses is up in the mountain wanakuja wanaambia Aaron we can't wait anymore who told you Moses is going to come back so they decided to make a calf wakatengeneza miungu when people don't wait they create gods for themselves they create idols they create their own ways they maneuver shortcuts wa israeli wakakataa kungoja wakamwambia aron tutengeneze miungu wakatengeneza calf wakatengeneza ndama wakaiabudu the reason was they couldn't wait waliambiwa mkae discipline yourself stay in this place they couldn't how i pray god in the name of jesus atusaidie tuwe na discipline wakati huu katika jina la yesu Amen. The other third thing that is expected of us is sacrifice and self denial. Mm-hmm. Waiting demands a sacrifice. Waiting demands a self denial. Ujikane. Ujinyime. Ujitoe. Kuku anapokaa pale kwa mayai siku 21 hupunguza kilo. Paka hiyo kuku ukishika hivi huwezi chinjia mgeni kuku haina kilo ukishika kuku ni mwepesi sana kwa sababu aliji sacrifice anakaa njaa now it demands a sacrifice waiting demands a sacrifice mm-hmm. it demands we keep ourselves with the discipline and self denial kuna vitu tutajinyima watu walizoea starehe watu walizoea happy watu walizoea kwenda mambo yao nje wapi wapi Now it demands that we sacrifice. Brethren, my sisters and brothers, in the name of Jesus I request us, let us sacrifice so that we may be healed, so that we may be saved. It demands sacrifice. Waiting demands sacrifice. Mm-hmm. It demands we deny ourselves. The Bible says in the book of Philippians chapter number 3, verse 7 to 8. Paulo anasema anaambia kanisa la Wafilipo but what things we gain to me were gain to me those i counted as loss for Christ ye doubtless and i count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my lord for whom i have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung that i may win Christ 
Paulo anasema nimehesabu mambo yote kuwa ni kama mavi ili mimi niweze kumpata Kristo. Kungoja inahitaji tuache mambo mengine. We sacrifice when young people are told sacrifice stay pure until marriage sacrifice. When people are told wait. When these disciples were told to wait, they were not ready to sacrifice. Waliona ah tumejitoa ya kutosha they gave up and went one time the apostle peter could not wait hata yakaamua kurudi kuvua samaki the issue was he couldn't wait na wengine wakamfuata my brothers and sisters i'm here to encourage us that when the answer is wait let us sacrifice and wait mm-hmm. in jesus name amen the other thing we can learn or is expected of us now that we are waiting when the answer is wait is we should be generous to one another mm-hmm. waiting is not only for you it is also us all of us are busy waiting tunangoja it is not only one person waiting many of us are waiting kuku ninajifundisha kwake ya kwamba yeye hulalia mayai hata ya kuku jirani Bora tu awekewe mayai. Huwa hanyimi mayai ya wengine joto. Waiting hizo siku 21 yeye uwekewe hata mayai ya kuku mwingine na akalalia na akayatia joto mpaka kifaranga kikatoka. Yeye wasemi haya mayai si yangu hapana. We are through a time of waiting. And this time let us mind each other's welfare. Mm-hmm. The Bible says in Galatians chapter number 6 and verses 2 Bear ye one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. Wakati huu ni wa kungoja watu wa Mungu, ni wakati wa kubebeana mizigo. Carry my burden I carry your burden. Carry the burden of your neighbor. Carry the burden of each other. Nashukuru Mungu, wengine wanachukua mizigo, wanajuliana hali. Jua mwingine anakula ama analala njaa. Nashukuru Mungu kwa wale wanatoa masks, wale wanatoa vitu vyao vya kula, mali ili waangalie maslahi ya wengine. It is a time to carry one another's burden. Now that our answer is wait, let us wait as we carry one another's burden in Jesus name. Amen. The other thing, number five, when the answer is wait, what is expected of us is that we operate in faith hope and not discouragement tutembee katika imani matumaini na sio kuchoka na sio ku give up kuku akilalia mayai kwa hizo siku 21 ye ungoja kwa uvumilivu she is always very patient hata kama mayai yote hayatatoka kitu ye urudi kutaga tena ai kuku ni waajabu aki kuku anaweza taga mayai 21 akangoja siku 21 akataga mayai 30 akangoja siku 21 na wakati mwingine akakosa kutoka chochote but uwa hachoki she never gives up she goes back and lay more eggs i'm here to tell us brethren at times this waiting may go more It may require more. Tunaweza tukaongezewa tuambiwe tuendelee kungoja. I was watching the TV the other day and I see other countries wanaambiwa it has been pushed until May 3rd, May 2nd. Nikaona nchi nyingine inasema they expect to resume to normality in June 1st. Eh, brethren, we have waited. Our government has told us to wait. Mwezi wa tatu imeisha ndio hii tumeanza waine hatusikii mahali wanatuambia ni kesho a a kanisa tunaambiwa tuendelee kungoja kama vile kuku wa kutaga mayai mengine my brothers and sisters tuendelee kungoja we still have potential we are going to do more even after this quarantine in Jesus name mm-hmm. life will still come back to normality mambo yatakuja Let us continue waiting. Paulo anaambia Timotheo katika 2 Timothy chapter number 
and verses number three. Anamwambia thou therefore my son Timothy endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Askari vumilia askari upitia mambo magumu lakini kile mtu anaambiwa ngo vumilia hata kama mambo ni magumu mtu wa Mungu tuvumilie kuku upoteza mayai yote lakini akavumilia akataga mengine watu wa Mungu biashara inaweza kuwa haitatoa chochote mwaka huu season hii inaweza kuwa ikawa itakuwa ngumu tunalipa loan na ile saving tulikuwa naye ni sawa tuvumilie but i want to tell us there is still hope at the end of the tunnel yes we can still come back to our strength we can still come back inawezekana tukarudi na maisha yetu yakawa sawa na furahia wale wanafunzi walipokutana na Yesu wakielekea Emmaus aliwaambia mimi ndiye huyo mmekuwa mkiwaza mkiongea kumuhusu walipoona amemega mkate walifurahi Bible inasema wakarudi Yerusalemu nataka kuongea na mtu ambaye amegiva anaelekea Emao we ambao umechoka naomba Mungu ukutane na muujiza ukutane na Yesu na urudi Yerusalemu katika jina la Yesu Amen. na urudi na habari njema ya kwamba nimemuona watu wa Mungu si give up Unaweza ukapata breakthrough tena. Kuku utaga mayai tena na akayalalia tena. Hata na wewe unaweza kuona kuna breakthrough, but I'm here to tell you in the name of Jesus there is still hope. Mm-hmm. Inawezekana na Mungu akakuonekania na mambo yakawa mazuri katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Wapangaji wanaweza kuwa wamehama. Hawalipi Kumbuka walikuwa wanalipa hizo siku zingine. Bado watakuja kukulipa. You will still get more money. Usikasirike na wao, usichoke wavumilie. Carry each other's burden, brethren. Wadeni wetu, tuwabebe, tuwabebe mizigo, tuwaelewe. Siku itafika wakati huu unaweza kuwa ukuli kile ulikuwa unakula. You don't have money the way you used to have. It is true. But the truth is, I want to tell us the day will come in the name of Jesus Christ when we will go back to our normal life and even better. Mm-hmm. Ayubu alipovumilia, alipoambiwa ya kwamba jamii yake yote imeangamia, watoto wote wameangamia, mali yake yote imeangamia, vitu vyake vyote vimeangamia, alisema I know my redeemer live. Yes. Na Bible inasema in chapter number 42 of the book of Job na Mungu akamrudishia kitu na kingine A time will come when what has been taken away will come back I pray God let it be everything double double mm-hmm. a double double vitu vyako virudi na virudi mbili kwa mbili double 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 let them come back again the disciples were going to Jerusalem to to a mouse They went back to Jerusalem wakiwa wanafurahia na kusherehekea to the glory of God. Yes. The Bible says weeping may endure for a night. Mm-hmm. You may be going to a mouse because you are walking in the night. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Yes. May you meet with the Messiah and may you turn back because he is alive. Yes. May the power of resurrection meet with you Amen. and may you return back to Jerusalem with a new testimony. Yes. Wewe mwenye ulikuwa unaonekana kama ndio unakwama, mm-hmm. wewe unaonekana kama ndio ulikuwa unaisha yes. when you tarudi na habari njema kwa wengine ukiwambia he is alive yes. uambie kweli kuna muujiza na kuna ushindi Amen. i am seeing the light and life again mm-hmm. to the glory of god over your life in Hallelujah. the name of jesus Amen. the other thing number six, we are expected at this time of waiting to be sensitive very sensitive and discerning tuwe watu ambao ni watu ambao wako na hisia zilizo makinika elio zetu ziwe juu our spiritual antennas to be very high at such a time when waiting is our answer it demands our spiritual life to be very sensitive our spiritual antenna to be very alert kuku yeye huangalia mayai ambayo amelalia akigundua hii yai imeharibika Halali tena yeye hey, 
I am here to tell us today in the name of Jesus, there are things we have to give up mm -hmm. right now. There are things we are going to say no to so that we move forward in the name of Jesus. Yes. There are things we are going to say no. There are people, he quarantined it and decided to send a no to them and we move on. Mm -hmm. There are friends we are going to give up. Kwa sababu wao, hakuna kitu mzuri inatoka. When me tell us, waiting in asaidianga ile kuku kujua ni mayaigani ya kweli na nigani ya wongo. It is at this time, you will know who are the right friends and which ones are not. It is the time to roll out the wrong eggs. So that we may to back it to kilalia. There are habits and behaviors and bazo watu walikuwa nazo ni mbaya. This is the time ya kuziweka inje. Roll the bad habits out in the name of Jesus. Roll out the bad friends in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Roll out the bad behaviors in Jesus' name. Yes. The bad thoughts, roll them out this time in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So that you remain with the good ones in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Kuku anaweka yote inje. Paulo anasema kadika wa korinda wa kwanza. Chapter number 10 and verse 23. All things are lawful to me. Mambo yote ni merusiwa. But all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me. But not all things edify. Anasema ni narusi ya kufanya mambo yote. Lakini si mambo yote mazuri. I pray God in the name of Jesus. Hata kama una pesa, unaweza kufanya chochote. This is the time to roll out drunkenness in mm -hmm. Jesus name. Mm -hmm. This is the time to roll out mpambo ya kando in the name of Jesus. This is the time roll these things out. Yes. Bad friends roll them out. Roll them Bad out. behaviors roll them out. Paulo anasema hata kama nimeruhusiwa kufanya mambo yote lakini si mambo yote mazuri waiting means you search yourself and roll out the wrong things and the bad things in the name of Jesus you have been going to the wrong place you have been going the wrong direction it is a time to turn around in Jesus name the disciples who are going to a mouse they realized we have taken the wrong route Wamechukua barabara ilio mbaya. They had to turn around and go back to Jerusalem. This is the time to go back to your blessing. This is the time to go back to your miracle. The time to go back to your vision. The time to go back to your expectation. To your dreams and future. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Paulo anaongeza anarudia the same thing. In 1 Corinthians 6 and verse 12. And I say, all things are lawful to me, but not all things are expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. This is the time not to be under the power of things that are not profiting. Usiwe chini ya vitu ambavyo hami kusaidi. Marafiki wengine hawa kusaidi. Roll them out in the name of Jesus. Kazi zingine ambazo kumbe ulikuwa unafanya hazi kusaidi Zina kuweka mbali na mungu Ulikuwa unaona uwezi kuwacha Uwezi kuenda ibada Uwezi kuenda sijui wapi kwa sababi ya nini na nini Wakati huu zote zimefungwa Unarealize so I can survive without them I tell you roll them out in the name of Jesus O siwezi enda kwa sababu ya kazi Niko busy Now there is no busy and you are still surviving Roll them out Get back to Jerusalem. Get back to your prayer life. Get back to fellowship. Get back to your relationship with God. Get back to prayer and fasting. Get back to your tithing. Get back to your giving. Yes. In Jesus name. Amen. Roll them out. Roll them and out. get back. Mm -hmm. In Jesus name. Amen. Jambo la muisho. Wale wanafunzi walipo kuwa wanaenda. Walipo kutana na Yesu wakagundua ndie. They became conscious of themselves. Wakajielewa. Wakajua kumbe. Jukumuletu waliku kwa kufanya mambo mengine. Jukumuletu lilani kumtumainia na kumotarajia mungu. Bible inasema. Ya kwamba walipo jielewa. Walirudi Yerusalemu mbio sana. Naomba mungu ujielewe kwa jina la Yesu. Kungoja. Jambo na saba ni kwamba We are expected to operate in wisdom and consciousness We be realistic Tutembe katika hekima Na katika kuwelewa ukweli wa mambo Jina la bwana litukuzo Kuku wakati ya ulalia mayai Ata kama ameagua kakifaranga kamoja Ya uwachana na ile mayai ingine yote mbaya Akaenda na hako kamoja 
Unaweza shangaa sana ukikuta kuku akizurura na kakifaranga kamoja. Wewe unashangaa hii kuku nalikuwa imelalia mayai kumi. Kwa sababu anajua hii mayai ingine imeharibika lakini haka kamoja ndiko nitachunga. Na yeye hufanya shughuli, yeye utafuta chakula akichunga hako kamoja. We need to be realistic when we are waiting. We need to be wise when we are waiting. We need to know wisdom means knowing what is right and what is wrong kujua ni nini ya kufanya. Wisdom is applied knowledge. Ujua ukweli na uapply. Ni wapi ya kunawa, ni wapi ya kufanya nini, ni wapi na ni wapi, ni nini ya kufanya na ni nini si ya kufanya. Ukristo si ujinga. Mm -hmm. Ukristo demands wisdom. It demands we be wise and we understand the times even and season. There is a time for everything the Bible says. In the book of Philippians, chapter number 3 and verses 13, Paul tells the church of Philip, of Philippi that brethren I count not myself to have attained or apprehended but one thing I do forgetting those things which are behind and reaching for those things which are before me angalia zile vitu za dhamana chunga hizo vitu ndio za dhamana kwako maandiko inasema linda moyo wako kuliko vitu vyote unavyolinda wakati wa kungoja ni wakati wa kuchunga moyo haleluya usiweke mambo yasiyofaa ndani yako Naomba Mungu wakati huu wa kungoja tumngoje Mungu Bible inasema tuliposoma katika kitabu cha Isaia mlango wa arobaini. ya kwamba je hatujui Mungu wetu yeye hachoki hatujasikia that the everlasting God the creator of the ends of the earth he faints not I've come to tell us God does not give up Corona haijafanya Mungu achoke, Mungu hajachoka. Neither does he grow weary. Wapendwa wakati wa kungoja ni wakati wa kumtumainia Mungu. Mm. It is the time to put our trust and faith in God the more in the name of Jesus. Amen. What is expected of us at such a time is to cling to the word, to shikilie tukae kwa neno, the promises of God. Tukae kwa maombi. Tukai kwa kumtumainia Mungu we continue serving serving will keep us will keep us in waiting will maintain us hatutaenda nje the bible says even the youths they can go weary wanaweza wakachoka those who wait outside god they will grow tired but i've come to tell us today when the answer is wait let us lean let us lean to god to mshikilie Mungu wapendo hata kama ita demand to kimbie to fly to tembe hatutachoka hata kama itaenda muda gani mtu wa Mungu usichoke ndo ajibu ni ngoja neema iko amen hallelujah amen let us continue waiting when the answer is wait let us not give up when the answer is wait let us keep on trusting god when the answer is wait let us keep on calling on god the answer is wait let us keep on believing god worshiping him and calling upon his name mm -hmm. in the name of jesus brethren i pray for you wherever you are in jesus name mm -hmm. may you continue to wait on the lord may you continue to put your trust in him may you continue to believe him when the answer is wait i know your business will still come back to life when the answer is wait as we continue to wait as a nation as we continue to wait as a church, as we continue to wait as believers and individuals, you are masomo bado itafaulu. Kazi yako bado utaendelea. Hata kama ulikuwa umeajiriwa mwezi mmoja, unaona kama utafuta umesimamishwa kazi, you will still come back again. I believe God kama vile kuku anataga mayai tena, mm. hata na wewe utaamuka tena kwa jina la Yesu. Yes. Yule ulikuwa umeanza biashara unachukua mzigo wapi unapeleka wapi? Yes. You look as if things have come to an end. I am here to tell you, may you continue trusting God. He says that they that wait on the Lord 
God unapokaa ukimngoja Bwana as you continue to lisema waiting means expecting when you continue expecting from God I tell you you shall not be put to shame blessed are they who have put their trust in the Lord for they shall never be put to shame endelea yes. kuweka tumaini lako kwa Bwana na hautaibika we ambao ulikuwa na mpango wa kuona kuolewa endelea kuweka tumaini lako kwa Bwana na hautaibika yes. kwa jina la Kristo Yesu yes Taki kumaliza ibada hii bila kukupa nafasi ya kupeana maisha yako kwa Yesu. Uko pale hujapeana maisha yako kwa Yesu. Kabla sijaombea mahitaji mengine ningependa nikupe nafasi ya kwanza. Hauwezi kumtumainia Mungu ambaye hauna uhusiano na yeye. Huwezi kungojea kwa Mungu ambaye hata uhusiano naye hauna. Unaweza kuwa kama wewe pengine ni kama wa Israeli. Ulichoka kumngoja Mungu, walichoka kumngoja Musa wakaingia kwa miungu. Ulirudi nyuma kwa sababu ulichoka kumngojea Bwana. Ukaenda kwa ulevi, ukachoka kumngojea Bwana, ukaenda kwa mpango ya kando, ukachoka kumngojea Bwana, ukaenda kwa ukahaba, ukaenda kwa drugs. Leo hii una nafasi ya kumrudia Bwana. Sema nyuma yangu Bwana Yesu. Mimi ni mwenye dhambi. Nisamehe dhambi zangu na makosa yangu. Futa jina langu kwa kitabu hicho cha mauti uniandike kwa kitabu cha uzima naamini kwa moyo wangu nakiri kwa kinywa changu Kristo Yesu ni bwana na mwokozi wa ulimwengu kwa jina la Yesu nimeokoka na kuamini amen amen na kushukuru baba kwa sababu ya yule ambaye ameomba ombi hilo mahali popote alipo neno lako linasema tazama yule aliye katika Kristo Yesu amefanyika kuwa kiumbe kipya na muombea maisha mapya na kusimama katika imani katika jina la Kristo Yesu tumeomba amen nataka niombe na hitaji lako uko pale nyumbani hata wewe uko pale jalishi ni ugonjwa wa gani i believe god is able even to heal covid 19 by faith Everything is possible. In God all things are possible. Let us pray. Baba kwa jina la Yesu. Kuna watu hata chakula hawana. Kuna watu hawana za kulipa nyumba. Kuna watu wanapitia hali ngumu. I pray for them in Jesus name. Abba Father your name is Jehovah Jireh God our provider. Provide for them for the glory of your name. Kuna wengine Mungu wako na shida ya mwili, udhaifu wa mwili, maradhi. We rebuke that those sicknesses and diseases in Jesus name. By the stripes of Jesus we are healed. We call you Rafa, the Lord our healer. Touch them where they are hurting and heal them in Jesus name. Wengine wamekosa amani. Jehovah Shalom tembea uwape amani. Yes. Touch those families. Touch. Bring those marriages together. Yes, really. Raise up a standard. Mm -hmm. Glorify yourself. Kwa hawa vijana watendee kwa utukufu wa jina lako. Yes. Tutakutangazia ushindi. Mm -hmm. Mungu wetu tuelimua jina lako. Taifa la Kenya mm -hmm. na ulimwengu wote tutakutumainia. Yes. We believe that you are giving us the grace yes, tupe yes. neema ya kuendelea kungoja yes. tuendelee kungoja bwana yes. tukijua ya kwamba tutakuwa zaidi ya washindi kwa jina la Kristo Yesu tumeomba na sote tuseme amen, amen. nataka niombe sadaka yako toa kwa kanisa lako mahali wewe ushiriki fungu lako la kumi, peleka kwa kanisa lako mahali wewe ushiriki na Mungu atakubariki baba kwa jina la Yesu asante kwa sababu ya mtamazamaji wangu Mungu wetu naomba ubariki sadaka anayoenda kutoa Baba umtende mema bariki kazi ya mikono yake Mungu kasema tutoe fungu letu kwa uaminifu na utakemea muharibifu Kwa jina la Yesu tuomba Bwana ukemee muharibifu na ubariki biashara zetu mazao yetu shambani na utupe nguvu ya kuendelea kufanya kazi Kwa kushukuru na tukuinua kwa jina la Kristo Yesu Tumeomba na sote tuseme amen. Amen. Kanisa lako linaweza kuwa liko na pebi. Tuma kwa pebi ya kanisa, account namba ya kanisa. COVID-19 isiwe sababu ya wewe kutokumtolea Bwana. Utakapomtolea Bwana, atakulisha na kukunywesha. Hautapungukiwa, hautaumia na njaa. Na washukuru hadi wakati mwingine tutakaponana tena. Na Mungu awabariki sana na awatende mema. Kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Amen. Bye bye. God bless you.